everybody. Welcome to another Beth and Gus story time. Hi. He's hi, hi, hi. We have a great story for you today. I'm a hare. So there. Haha. <laughs> yeah. This is a story that's written and the pictures are drawn by Julie Rowan Zock. And what's interesting about this story is that we get to learn about animals that are similar, but not the same. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Okay, here we go. I'm a hair so there. Yay! Hello, rabbit. Rabbit. Did you say rabbit? Listen up, chipmunk. I'm a hare. So there. I'm no flopsy, mopsy, or cottontail. I'm a hare. H A R E hare. Technically, I'm a ground squirrel, but you're a jackrabbit. My name is Jack, but I'm no rabbit. Hairs are bigger. Bigger ears, bigger feet. Check out my toes. P U. Sure, we're related. Like ground squirrels and chipmunks? Like sheep and not goats. They are not the same. Baby rabbits are born naked. Naked? Yep, they have to stay in their burrows. I was born with hair, with my eyes wide open. I can look out for myself. I'm a hare. So there. There isn't a turtle I can't outrun. I think you mean tortoise. Turtles don't live anywhere near here. And look how far I can jump. <laughs> I'm a hare. So there. Did you hear something, Chippy? Gotcha, rabbit. Rabbit. I am a hare. So there. Jackal. Technically, that was a coyote. Well, I'm glad the hare got away from the <laughs> coyote. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So let's, Gus and everyone, let's learn about some other animals. Okay. Frogs have moist, slimy skin, and toads have dry, bumpy skin. 
That's the way to remember the difference between those poppity things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And tortoises, tortoises, they live on the land. And turtles live on water, some, yeah, some or all of the time, or nearly all of the time. Yeah. And then ravens, have you guys seen a raven? They're huge. They're they're larger and they make a loud croaking sound. Whereas crows that look, they look a lot like, they're smaller and they make caw, caw sounds. <laughs> and did you know about the hair? A hare's fur changes color in the winter. And a rabbit's fur stays the same year round. So, yeah. so those are some of the animals. And if you get, if you want to take a closer look at this book and get it out of your library, there's some other animals you can learn about too. So, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for dropping by and sharing another story with us. And we'll see you next time right here on Beth and Gus Storytime. Bye. Ah. Uh -huh.